the price of the 4070 and the 4060 ti are going down there's an update regarding the connections for the 50 series of graphics cards from nvidia this right here is just a dirt cheap 7900 xt that i found and wanted to share with you something a little bit different for the channel i'm actually going to be covering a game i just thought that this was super cool and wanted to share it with you and then just a few smaller articles that i wanted to share because i found interesting and i thought you guys might also find it interesting well let's go ahead and start this off with nvidia lowering the price of the rtx 4070 and the rtx 4060 ti founders editions now do keep in mind this is over in china but i'm guessing that prices are just going to continue to fall this has already started to happen in america um yes it's only like i want to say like a 20 dollar drop at this point but you got to remember that when you're buying pc i've noticed this as a pc builder dude like when i've like let's say my typical rtx 4070 and i7 build that's what most people order from me um you know those are hovering right around like the 1600 dollars range right now whereas like before like like i want to say maybe like three months ago like those were costing me like two thousand twenty one hundred dollars like in, it was like around that $2,000 mark, not around the $1,500 mark, if that makes sense to you. But either way, man, this is nice to see prices dropping here. As you guys can see, imagine if this was actually American dollars and how insane that would be. That's probably what the 50 series is going to cost. So next article I wanted to cover is the 16 pin connectors that could end up being mandatory for the NVIDIA RTX 5000 series of graphics cards. And here is why that's bad news for some graphics cards. This right here is the part that we need to highlight and read and go over. It says, this is the 12V 2x6 connector, by the way. A revised safer take on the 12VHPWR, whatever that stands for, effort <laughs> that came with an NVIDIA RTX 4090, complete with that memorable memorable cable melting controversy which is actually still ongoing and a concern to a slight extent forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff actually i know i i knew i was so dude i got this and i think i'm excited to use it because i haven't used it yet how many of you are aware of this it's a new msi 360 millimeter aio cooler I almost forgot, and that's why I had, I remember, that's why I had that Arctic Freezer AIO opened up on my uh, screen. So, next article is just a refurbished Art Radeon RX 7900 XT graphics card for only 650 bucks. I think that that's a super good deal. Um, it is, obviously, it's not brand new for, for reasons I doubt I need to explain, but this is actually a super simple way to save a lot of money on graphics cards. Elden Ring is getting some new content here. It's going to cost 40 bucks, which is pretty cheap. And then it's going to come with three different editions, which you can pre-order. It's going to come with a standard edition, which has the ring of Mechella bonus gesture, Elden Ring Shadow of the Entry expansion, and that's the $40 version. And then Shadow of the Entry Premium is going to have ring of the, so the same stuff as up here. But the, the extra stuff that you're going to end up getting is Elden Ring Shadow of the Entry Digital Art Book and the original soundtrack for 50 bucks. You know, it would be super cool if they like the soundtrack that they released, like you could actually like use it in your videos without getting copyright. That'd be sick. So Shadow of the Entry Collector's Edition, again, it's going to come with everything up here. It's going to, but it's going to come with the Shadow of Entry Expansion Cloud Voucher for and okay so the base game is not included mesmer and impaler figure physical art book digital original soundtrack and then this is going to be 250 bucks elden rings a really good game i never finished the, for the whatever like first i played the original elden ring for like probably like five hours i just don't and it's not because i don't want to play it's just i don't have time for it at this point you know what i mean but so the next article that i wanted to share with you is just regarding the arctic freezer 3 aio i saw a video of gamers nexus reviewing this and i thought it looked super super cool so when i saw the article posted by uh um video cards i just i wanted to share it with you just because they, they i don't know i think that's super cool looking if you all right so i'll keep it right here so it looks similar to the new MSI one, doesn't it? 
Doesn't it look similar? I think it looks pretty similar. I'm excited to test this out because I think this thing. Oh, this is a nice picture of it. That's a good picture of it. I'm excited to use G Skills also sent me some there. So I didn't realize G Skill had like there they have AMD and Intel specific memory and they're se they're sending me some to review for you guys. So anyways, I'll get off topic if I keep continuing. Intel unveils the Intel 14A process node new foundry roadmap presented. So Intel Foundry Process Roadmap, this is the picture here. So it's launching the world's first systems foundry for the AI era, delivering leadership in technology, resiliency, and sustainability. Intel Foundry unveils new roadmap featuring Intel 14A process technology, specialized node evolutions, and then new Intel Foundry Advanced System Assembly and Test ASAT capabilities to help customers realize their AI ambitions. Intel Foundry announces Design win, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella shares that Microsoft has chosen a chip design that it plans to produce on the Intel 18A process. Ecosystem partners including Synopsys, Cadence, Simons, and Anis announce validated tools, design flows, and then intellectual property portfolios ready to enable customer designs. And then the process roadmap uh, okay, so I think I need to read this too. So AI is profoundly transforming the world and how we think about technology and the silicon that powers it, said the Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger. <laughs> Definitely butchered that. This is creating an unprecedented opportunity for the world's most innovative chip designer and for Intel Foundry, the world's first systems foundry for the AI era. Together we can create new markets and revolutionize how the world uses technology in order to improve people's lives. So the MTTS80, the MTTS70, the MTTS50, the MTTS30, and then the S10. So as you guys can see here, these are all the specs and everything. They're not like the best cards out there, but it's, it's kind of cool to see that. And you can see right here, the S30 is now listed at 399 RMB, which is only $55. The card is now expected to ship beginning February 29th. So obviously this is probably going to perform worse than Intel's graphics cards, but I think that's cool, bro. A $50 graphics card, bro. We haven't seen that in ages. And to be fair, what I said about joking around to plug your graphics card in better. Yes. I'm fully aware, dude, that like the 40 series cards are massive. They're, they're huge. So when you put your side panel on and it pushes up against the cable, yes, it's going to put a little pressure on the cable. But like, I just consider that common sense to plug stuff in properly. So, and it's been proven that that was the issue. People weren't just like plugging their graphics cards in and boom, all of a sudden having problems. You know what I mean? And this is like, and this isn't the connector. This isn't the, whatever that, the adapter this isn't what this is. This is like the actual connectors. Like a, a, a week or so ago, there was like an adapter that was causing a bunch of issues. There's, that's not what this is. So either way, man, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.